I'm going to take you through my top three deep end projects. Everyone is looking for the next deep in gem out there. And I think these three are definitely it. I've been following these projects closely for the last two years during the bear market. And I'm going to share this with you guys in this video. Let's take a moment to unpack what decentralized physical infrastructure networks actually truly means. At its core, DPIN represents a radical shift from traditional centralized infrastructure to distributed, democratized models. But what does that look like and why does it matter? Imagine the infrastructure that powers our digital world. Data centers that store our precious photos, documents, cell towers that enable mobile communication, and servers that process vast amounts of information. Now, Traditionally, these are owned by and operated by a handful of powerful companies, centralized control, profits, and decision making. And government agencies could also possibly tap on the shoulders of these companies and ask them to stop hosting your website, storing your data, or even provide them with your data. In contrast, Deepins harness the power of blockchain tech to decentralize this infrastructure. Instead of one company owning a massive data center, imagine thousands of individuals across the globe contributing a small portion of their own storage space to create a collective decentralized storage network. Or rather than a single cell phone provider owning all of the cell phone towers, envisage a local community owning and operating these towers, providing the services and reaping the benefits for themselves. This is not just about spreading out physical assets, it's about redistributing power and control. DPINs operate on blockchain tech, which ensures transparency, security, and fairness. Every transaction, whether it's a piece of data being stored or access to a computational power, is recorded on blockchain, creating a mutable ledger that guarantees integrity and trust. DPINs introduce a tokenized economy where contributors are rewarded with digital tokens. These tokens can represent ownership, stake, or simple payment of services rendered, incentivizing participants and investing in the network itself. It's a system that not only promotes security and privacy, but also fosters inclusive economy where anyone, anywhere can contribute to and benefit from the infrastructure. So let's dive into these hidden deep in gems. And on your way in, why not hit that like button and that subscribe notification bell to keep up to date with all of this emerging technology. First up is Igon, a decentralized storage provider that is challenging not only current providers in the Web 2 space, but also other ones in Web 3. Imagine a world where you can not only just securely store your data away from prying eyes of big tech, but also earn by contributing to the storage network. Igon makes that possible all within a tokenized economy that rewards participants for ensuring security. You can easily set up your own Igon node, provide storage or sign up to their services and even host your own website through their platform. Igon's unique patent technology allows for a high level of security and privacy, even complying with HIPAA medical standards for storing client medical records. This has opened up the doors for Igon for potential partnerships with Pure Health, who is a behemoth in the healthcare provider sector in the UAE. The project certainly has been growing rapidly over the last couple of years, and it can clearly be seen in their token price. Next, we have World Mobile, a project that is reimagining mobile connectivity by enabling individuals to own and profit from their own mobile infrastructure. World Mobile is breaking down these barriers of access. Imagine owning a piece of the network that connects your community to the rest of the world and earning from it. This is the power of decentralized ownership in action. Now, World Mobile has already cemented itself in Zanzibar and other remote areas on the African continent where mobile connectivity is limited and now is hitting other markets such as the United States of America. We should see a massive uptake in 2024 with more users and usage and subscribers to the World Mobile Network. 
Recently, they've sold out all of their air nodes in their first batch of sales, which is an incredible achievement. They've also recently launched Aerostats, these blimps that help connect rural communities over a broad distance because you can launch these air nodes high up in the sky where users can connect to them and have a broad distribution of connectivity. They've also received their Spectrum license in the United States where they can operate within their own frequencies. This opens up so many opportunities for the team for expansion and growth in the United States alone. Furthermore, projects such as MAV100 are creating nonprofit organizations owned by communities or DAOs across the United States that own and deploy these mobile networks for remote communities where they specifically benefit from better communication and connectivity, but also can generate a revenue source for that community from the mobile network. If you want to learn more about MAV100 and their impact on local communities, check out this interview I did with them. Links all around there somewhere. World Mobile certainly has been booming and you can see the strength of their community that is behind them. For all these people that are wanting to create and own these air nodes and operate their own decentralized mobile phone infrastructure. Lastly, let's talk about NewNet. Now, in an age where AI and machine learning demand more and more compute power than ever, NewNet offers a decentralized solution for that. By pulling together unused CPU and GPU resources, NewNet provides an affordable and scalable compute power for AI research and development, rewarding those who contribute their compute resources to the network with their NTX token. If you have a strong GPU or even an old GPU mining rig that may be used to mine ETH with, you can contribute that unused resource to the network, allowing researchers to tap into that network and access a cheaper and more affordable compute power. The impact of Dpint on Cardano stretches far beyond technology. They represent a shift towards a more democratic, equitable digital infrastructure where power and profits are shared amongst the users. Igon, World Mobile and UNet are just the beginning. The potential for growth and innovation in the space of decentralized infrastructure is immense. As we stand on the brink of a new digital era, the question isn't if decentralized infrastructure will become the norm, but when. And with Cardano leading the charge, that future is closer than you may think. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with the future technology and all things Cardano. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue the conversation. And if you want to learn more about Igon, check out this video here that I did with Navjeet, the CEO of Igon. And if you want to learn more about World Mobile, check out this other video I've got here as well. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast.